Welcome to Lava Lamp. Today we are going to explore the history of one of the largest and most dangerous crime organizations in all of the world, the Yamaguchi Gumi, currently the largest Yakuza clan in all of Japan. According to the National Police Agency of Japan, there are somewhere around 8,900 currently registered members of the Yamaguchi Gumi, though this is a sharp drop from their once 28,000 in 2013. Active membership took a huge hit in 2015 when the clan splintered into numerous smaller factions for reasons I will get into later in the video. Just prior to the split, the clan consisted of 72 different families. For those familiar with this guy, this would be similar to the Tojo clan in the Yakuza series. The organization is named after its founder, Harukichi Yamaguchi, who founded the clan in 1915 in the city of Kobe. The word gumi means group and is often used in the naming of companies in Japan. You'll often see the word gumi in construction companies, which have a long history of ties to organized crime in Japan. The Yamaguchi Gumi are unlike the old mafia families you may think of in the West. Think of them more as a corporation with numerous quasi-independent branch offices represented by the individual families, which each have their own schemes, rackets, and positions under the wider umbrella of the Yamaguchi Gumi. Another difference from the Italian mob is that the clan is far larger than the many Mafia families that you may be familiar with, such as the Genovese family. Once led by Lucky Luciano, which at its peak had a few hundred full members and a thousand or so associates, far fewer than the tens of thousands that at one point belonged to the Yamaguchi Gumi clan. But the clan had humble beginnings. Harukichi the founder led from 1915 until 1925 before the role passed to his son Noru who would then lead from 1925 until his death in 1942. At this time, little is known about the workings of the family, as they were only a few dozen in number. Some records I was able to find show that they were actively involved in dock labor unions and took work as strike breakers throughout Kobe but little else. Following the death of Noboru, the family had largely been wiped out following World War II. Those who did remain stayed inactive for three or so years until Noboru's protege, Kazuo Kuma Taoka, would fill the role of Kumicho for the next nearly 40 years, turning the Yamaguchi Gumi into the largest crime family in the world. Kazuo was born to a poor farming family on the island of Shikoku in 1912. His father died before he was born and his mother died as well at the age of four, leaving him orphaned and sent to live with relatives in Kobe. It was here in the early 1930s that he became notorious as a street fighter. He earned the nickname Kuma, or Bear, due to his savage fighting style in which he would claw out the eyes of his enemies. His tenacity impressed Noboru, who became a mentor and adoptive father to the young boy until Kazuo was imprisoned in 1937 for murder. He would be released in 1943, a full year after Noboru had died and the family had largely collapsed. He would spend the next three years putting the family back together, officially becoming its Kumicho in 1946. Following Kazuo's ascendancy to Kumicho, the family began to grow quickly. Kazuo encouraged Yamaguchi Gumi family members to break off and form their own individual families which would serve as subsidiaries to the Yamaguchi Gumi. Many members did, expanding the business into racketeering, gambling, prostitution, loan sharking, smuggling, show business and entertainment which I think you can take as the porn industry. Kazuo would gain complete control of Kobe after wiping out his local rivals, the Honda Kai. He would then expand the business further into Osaka by eliminating the Mayukai. Kazuo encouraged both legal and illegal business expansion, a move that would grow the Yamaguchi Gumi's power and swell their numbers to the tens of thousands. Through the 40s and 50s, the Yamaguchi Gumi would grow quickly, quietly, and largely unchecked by rival gangs or the police. Things would begin to change in 1963 when the Japanese National Police Agency began to crack down on Yakuza groups across the country, leading to the formation of the Kanto Kai. The Kanto Kai was a secret organization of Yakuza leaders in the Kanto region, which includes large cities such as Tokyo, Nagoya, and Yokohama. The Kanto Kai were formed in response to the growing police pressure put on the families. The aim of the Kanto Kai was to self-police Yakuza families and try to reduce any public issues that may draw more unnecessary attention. They also had a strict goal of furthering far-right politics in Japan, allying themselves with many politicians with similar beliefs. Though the Yamaguchi Gumi were not Kanto-based, they were invited to join and even did join briefly before leaving due to Kazuo's distrust of other Yakuza families. The Kanto Kai would only last about 15 months after its creation. Even though the organization fell apart, it led to a unification of the many warring Kanto families and merged them into a much larger, more organized modern Yakuza that we know today. 
In 1966, Kazuo would be indicted on five charges such as blackmail and racketeering which he would continue to fight for the rest of his life. As we head into the 70s, Kazuo would continue his legal battle and would remain the head of the ever-growing Yamaguchi Gumi. In 1972, despite his distrust of other Yakuza, he would form an alliance with the Inigawa Kai, the third largest Yakuza organization at the time and a Kanto-based organization. Kazuo formed this alliance in hopes of furthering expansion into the region. In 1978, while at a Kyoto nightclub, Kazuo was shot in the neck by a rival gang member from the Matsuda clan, enraged at the killing of his patriarch by the Yamaguchi Gumi earlier in the year. He would survive this assassination attempt and would organize death squads throughout the Kansai region which wiped out the Matsuda and would lead to the arrest of 80 of his own family members. Cosmo would lead until 1981 when he died of a heart attack one month before he was due to be sentenced for his 1966 charges. Following the death of Cosmo in 1981, the heir apparent was a man named Kenichi Yamamoto. Yamamoto was serving a prison sentence at the time of Cosmo's death and was unable to assume the position of Kumicho. The various underbosses agreed that they would wait for him to be released before they elected a new chairman. Sadly, Yamamoto would pass of liver failure in 1982, throwing the Yamaguchi Gumi into chaos. Kazuo's wife, Fumiko, would lead for two years until the eight top-level bosses could decide who would take the reins. In 1984, the council had finally come to a decision. They would choose Masahisa Takanaka to lead. This enraged a contender for Kumicho, Hiroshi Yamamoto, head of the Yamahiro Gumi who would take his family along with 3,000 others and break off from the Yamaguchi Gumi, forming the Ichiwakai. A bitter rivalry would quickly form between the two families, eventually leading to the assassination in 1985 of Takanaka by the Ichiwakai, leading to an all-out war between the clans known later as the Yamaichi War. But back to before the war, Yamamoto had sent a team of hitmen to the home of Takanaka's girlfriend. The hitmen had caught Takanaka a Yamaguchi Gumi underboss named Katsumase Nakayama, and one other member of the family waiting for the elevator outside. The hitmen jumped out of their car and gunned the three down before racing away. The Yamaguchi Gumi quickly selected a new acting boss in Kazuo Nakanishi and Lieutenant Yoshinori Watanabe, who swore to wipe out the Ichiwakaya in revenge. Over the next few years, there would be 220 shootings related to the war, countless brawls, and 36 Yakuza dead with many more seriously injured. It's likely the number is much higher, as many of the bodies just haven't been discovered or buried off in the forest somewhere. The Yamaguchi Gumi would eventually wrest back control, but at a deep cost. Many were dead, wounded, or arrested in the harsh police crackdown that would follow. Eventually, a peace accord was brokered by a neutral clan, the Inigawa Kai, which allowed defectors to rejoin the Yamaguchi Gumi. The war was all over the news for years, and had many in the country terrified, leading to harsh police crackdowns. Just after the war had concluded, this man was interviewed on the streets of Tokyo and asked for his opinion on what he thought might come out of the war. I think uh, on one hand it's probably a, a, a positive development uh, overall, because it will, uh, it will cause the remaining, uh, remaining players in the industry to to review the way they've been doing business. Following the Yamaichi War, a proper fifth chairman was chosen in Yoshinori Watanabe, nicknamed Mr. Gorilla due to his gorilla-like stature. At this point, rivalries from warring Yakuza clans began to wane, and Watanabe reached out, breaking bread and forming lasting bonds with clans previously as rival. As Watanabe decreased the Yamaguchi Gumi's enemies, he also expanded the control of the head office over the numerous subsidiary families increasing their ability to deal with external and internal issues quietly and hidden from the watchful eye of the police. Watanabe lived in a massive mansion in Kobe, known to the locals as the castle. During the earthquake of 1995, his home was completely undamaged and he had it converted into a makeshift shelter, donating around 1 billion yen to the community and serving nearly 20,000 lunches. Watanabe had considerably expanded the family, raising their members to around 16,000 and expanding their offices to 43 of the 47 Japanese prefectures. Not too much is known about the personal life of Mr. Watanabe as he remained very private until his retirement in 2005 due to failing health. He is also one of the few Japanese kumichos to retire, most would only do so when they die or are on their deathbeds. Now we'll move on to our sixth and current kumicho of the Yamaguchi Gumi, Kenichi Shinoda, 
aka Shinobu Tsukasa. In 1997, the right-hand man of Yoshinori Watanabe was assassinated by a small splinter Yakuza gang that was quickly snuffed out by both the police and the Yakuza. For eight years, Watanabe led without a right-hand man until Shinoda was selected in 2005, shortly before Watanabe stepped down himself. After stepping down, Shinoda inherited the position of Kumicho, becoming the sixth and current leader of the Yamaguchi Gumi. Shortly after becoming Kumicho, Shinoda would be arrested and sentenced to six years of jail for illegal possession of a firearm. Upon his release, Shinoda would take a much more public role than his predecessor, known for taking the train instead of a limousine, and for stopping at restaurants for a meal instead of a catered banquet. He once stopped at a small ramen shop on the way to a banquet thrown in his honor. In 2012, Shinoda would be sanctioned by the Obama administration, who froze his US assets in a move to limit global crime. Shinoda, in turn, tried to curry favor from the public, starting a website and magazine for the Yamaguchi Gumi, showing off the good deeds and activities done by active members. Membership, however, has drastically waned under Shinoda, due to the ever harsher anti-Yakuza laws and the breaking off of Kobe-based Yamaken Gumi, Osaka-based Takumi Gumi, and the Kyoyukai, who formed the new Kobe Yamaguchi Gumi. This is the first major split that the Yamaguchi Gumi have gone through since the Ichiwakai in 1982. Things, however, have made much more peaceful this time between the two factions, with each fearing another harsh police crackdown. And that brings us to here, to today. The Yamaguchi Gumi remain the largest Yakuza clan in Japan, and one of the largest crime syndicates in the world, but it seems they are well past their prime. Active membership drops year after year, and those who do remain active continue to grow older. With ever-increasing legal action taken against the Yakuza, they no longer have the funds or social standing to command the power they once wielded. I predict we will only see a further decline of the Yamaguchi Gumi, till eventually, they just fizzle out. Thank you guys all for watching, this has been the history of the Yamaguchi Gumi.